Hello everyone, welcome back and today I'm going to talk about the Hybrid Backup Sync 3.0 which has the QD Dupe technology integrated and it's coming soon with the QTS 4.4.1 so stay tuned and let's see what this presentation holds for us today. So let's get discover Hybrid Backup Sync and see the data the duplication technology on the first part, the QD Dupe, how it greatly reduces backup and restore time, how backup time is spent and is the key factor for multi-versioning backup and also the QDDoop extract tool which we can actually install it either on a remote desktop or any other OS to uh, use and utilize all the services from QDDoop and Hybrid Backup Sync 3.0 also to mention important in this part is that it supports TCP DBR to accelerate the cloud backup and we'll be talking about the cloud service providers more into details in the next and upcoming slides of this presentation. So the QDDoop technology is uh, looking at the future highlights is a block level analysis and comparison and also it is uh, the source side data the duplication framework and QNAP is the first NAS vendor to support the source side data the duplication framework and it has three advantages. First is the bandwidth reduction it has a space saving because if it's technology, it's a block level uh, data, uh, transfer, backup, restore. And also supports, uh, supports multiple cloud providers. And as you can see, for example, here, the VM image size and the dedupe file size, there are actually a big difference there. It's, it, it's almost half of it. So bring your backup data by a single USB drive. It is that easy. It is that simple. As you can see from 10 terabytes or here and with the QDFF file extension, it actually decreases to one to around 2.5 terabytes. And you can actually get it in a USB and transfer it from one NAS to the other NAS and easily uh, access it. So this would be really useful. Also, the backup data can be restore, uh, restored in different places and taken anywhere. Say, for example, we have here access from the local NAS, from this uh, NAS here in another local NAS, or you can go from this NAS to the remote uh, access from remote NAS and also to the cloud. And from there, you can actually carry it and use it really easily uh, very easy to say use SIF, Samba, NFS, FTP for any other uh, computer PC that you have either you have a Windows in uh, different locations Mac OS or Ubuntu Linux so the network speed would be uh, using the TCP BBR very much faster especially when you're using the wide area network and uh, also for uh, greater distances say from one source of the NAS would be in Taiwan and using uh, AWS S3 in EU, say London zone time, you can see the improvements are far, four to five times here. So as you can see, disabled without the TCP BBR transfer and then four to five times increase with the, uh, when you enable the TCP BBR on uh, using the hybrid backup sync 3.0 from different locations and far locations using also which uh, says to use the cloud services. So saying that TCP BBR makes enterprise uh, hybrid cloud architecture very robust it's because a private cloud framework or the traditional frameworks they are a kind of need to overcome complex network environments. They have kind of complex network environments. But with a hybrid cloud uh, framework, we can see that uh, we have actually the public cloud service and enable TCP BBR for a faster and a stable transmission uh, of the internet and a quality and faster speed. Also, use the hybrid backup sync to connect with the cloud object storage, as mentioned earlier. We both actually support object and file storage. But using it, QNAP NAS as a file storage gateway, we can convert the local file to a cloud object and the file directory structure is also saved in the cloud space. Meaning that the, it can be flexibly used to cloud space to complete the backup strategy and instantly synchronize multiple files with the cloud architecture. So you have, say, from here, 
a file access using NFS Samba to convert the a file to cloud object and then move on to the uh, cloud public cloud service with multi-site synchronization. As mentioned, a hybrid backup sync 3.0 completely integrates file and object type cloud services. Currently, it supports 22 public cloud service providers and this is not uh, only 22, but the number will keep increasing. So it will be more and more cloud service providers supported in the QNAP NAS, both for synchronization and backup and also for multi-version backup. So you can check both the object and the file storage uh, cloud service providers. Having said that, uh, the QNAP NAP has, NAS has the 3-2-1 principle on data backup, which uh, you can actually use Mac Time Machine for MacBook users, NetBack Replicator to integrate it uh, from the local uh, uh, data to the NAS and actually have it a uh, better uh, principle of backup using the remote NAS and also using external device, uh, devices like the TR004 and VJBot and then move on with the TCP BBR to the file storage or the object, object storage on the cloud service. So the three different uh, copies of files on two different devices and one can be off-site. This is the 3 two, one principle on data backup. So yeah, this is QNAP Hybrid Backup Sync 3.0, which uh, we reached the end and it says that the best help for you hybrid cloud data protection is the HBS 3.0 which is coming soon with the QTS 4.4.1. So thank you everyone. See you next time. Bye.